Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Talking Kayak with Alex. So, I've done these videos before where I talk about best kayaks, fishing kayaks under $1,000 in the market. And I think it's time to do another one of those videos, especially because I've been getting questions, especially from Gilberto. Gilberto? Anyways, sorry if I kill your name, see the comment here. And um, I figured that it would be a really good time to get into that right now. There's a lot of people looking to buy a new kayak or a second kayak and they wanna see what is the best deal out there for them. Now this list is just gonna focus on a few kayaks. Any other kayaks that you think is worth to be on this list, comment down below. Go ahead, I'll go and read all, I read all your comments, I reply to 99% of them, so yeah. Now let's get to this. And the first kayak in this list, not best, but just the first, is the Bona 5 RS117. And why, why am I always coming back to this kayak? Well, it is a tremendous value at $1,000. It's made in the USA. It has a high and low seat. It has a scoper hole for the transducer. It has a dry pod. It has paddings and foot rest. It has a lot of little things that really makes your fishing better. It makes it more comfortable for you out there. This is one of those kayaks that you just grab and go. You don't have to install anything. It has gear tracks. It has uh, flush mounted rod holders, all those things. So you really don't have to figure, oh, I need a milk crate with throw holders. I need that. No, no. This is like ready to go. And again, it's made in the US. It's like a stable kayak. It has that cat hole design. It's going to give you stability. Roughly it's 12 feet long, 33 and a half inches wide. So it's gonna give you that stability like I mentioned before. And it also it's gonna give you a little bit of speed. It's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be as hard as to paddle as other kayaks out there. Now let's talk about the second kayak in this list. And this is a kayak that I personally didn't think much of it because I was like my, my attention went to the 106 and the 106 PDL version, but we're talking about the Old Town Topwater 120. This is a 12 foot kayak, it's 33 and a half inches wide, and it holds 500 pounds, and it costs $1,000. Tremendous value, $1,000, you get a low and high seat, you get padding, you get a universal transducer design. Basically, this kayak has a, like a U-hole design and it has a giant cavity that you could put any transducer pretty much that you want. You could have like guard junctus transducer in there. It has a spot for the battery under the hatch. It also has a tremendous gigantic tank well. It paddles well. It doesn't come pre-wired for the rotters, but you can see that it has a spot where the rotters will go. So you just buy the rotter kit from them and add it something that you don't need but at least it comes with that like this this is a really great value when it comes to kayaks this old town to water 120 regular it's a really good value for one thousand dollars 500 pound capacity if you're a bigger guy this may be the boat for you that's huge now let's talk about the third kayak in this list which is the vibe yellowfin 120. Uh, this is a one one of those really great value is $800. It paddles very well. It is super stable. It comes, the rudder installation is so easy. I could, I did it in five seconds. I installed my Bisbee rudder adapter on it, took my Bisbee out when fishing with it. You could check those videos here. Now, it was so easy to do, super easy. It comes with a foot rest. The wires are not there, but the tubing is there. So it comes just ready to go, boom. It has a little hatch in front of you where you can pull your keys and things like that. So this, for $800, is a really, really great value. Really, really good look. It's kind of like a crazy design, but it's a really good boat. I highly recommend it. Now, one of the drawbacks is that it's not made in the US, but that's just a minor thing. It doesn't have like a console either, but again, it's it's, it's, it's what you want, right? Like the RS has a little cons console system. The Topwater 120 doesn't have that little console system, but you do have cup holders, which is huge. Of course, I missed some of them. Like I said before, make sure to comment below with what kayak I'm missing. If you want to see more videos like this one, click here on this playlist. If you want to know what you really like, click on this video here. Google's going to select that for you. See you next time.